Here we have a simple building model with beams representing the frame and shells representing the windows and floors. Under the analysis type, after selecting shock response spectrum, you can set the various NASTRAN options for your analysis, such as lower frequency bound, weight mass scaling factor, and summation options. Modal setup allows you to choose your number of modes and other options. Damping allows you to set your damping. And dynamic setup allows you to define the response spectrum or spectra. Multiple spectra can be used for different damping values. These values can be displayed on the graph. There is a new constraint option specifically for response spectrum. This defines the excitation point. Using the rigid body connector in Autodesk Nastran NCAD, we can connect our excitation point to the foundation of our structure. Using the mass idealization, we can create our foundation mass. Compared to a full transient or frequency response problem, the response spectrum analysis solves very quickly and we don't need to sort through hundreds of output sets just to find the maximum displacements or stresses.